Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when controller is not working with the risk of rain returns game on your Windows computer. Now, the first step is to restart the game. So if the game is running, close the game and then launch the game once again and then check. Next step is to disable or enable the Steam input. Now for this, make a right click on the game, select properties and then go to controller tab and over here, select enable Steam input. Now this has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So select enable Steam input and then check. Now, if enabling Steam Input does not work, you can select Disable Steam Input and now launch the game and check, then check. So for many user, enabling Steam Input has worked, so you can try this. If that does not work, you can try Disable Steam Input and check which one is working fine for you. Now, the next step is to make sure you have your controller on and connected before you launch the game. So turn on your controller and make sure it is connected before you launch the game and then check. Next step is to restart your computer. So if nothing is working, you can simply restart your computer once and after the system restart, launch the game and then check. Next step is to unplug external devices. So if you have any additional controller or any USB adapter or any external devices connected, you can disconnect all the external devices and then close all the ex um, background services application. So close anything extra connected to the computer and then launch the game and then check. Next step is to launch Steam in big picture mode and then launch the game. So the top right here, you can see big picture mode icon. So click on it. Now, once you are in big picture mode, now you can click on the game and then launch the game and then check the control. Now, the next step is to, now this is for Steam users, disable Steam input. Now go to Steam controller settings and enable Steam input for your controller. Now for this, first of all, go to the game, make a right click on the game, select properties, controller, disable Steam input. Now on the top here, you can see Steam, click on Steam and then click on settings. Now go to the controller tab over here and then Enable, uh, enable, if you have Xbox controller, you can enable the option which says enable Steam input for Xbox controller. Now, if you have PlayStation controller, then you have to enable Steam input for PlayStation controller. So try this. Now, if nothing works, even if you enable your Xbox or PlayStation controller, if that does not work, you can disable everything. You can turn off everything and then launch the game and then check. Now, once you make the changes, you have to restart the game. Make sure that you restart the game. Next step is to, now this is for PlayStation controller user. You can use REWASD or DS4 Windows application and then check. Next step is to use wired controller. So if nothing is working, you can connect to your uh, controller using the USB cable to the computer and then launch the game and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get the controller working with the game. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.